At the end of the day, our goal is to make it to the Super Bowl. We lost to them in the playoffs. Just beating them in the regular season doesn't really do anything. And those were some strong words from Lamar Jackson about the Kansas City Chiefs. But he gets it. He, he, he gets it. Like, I think this is exactly how every single Baltimore Ravens fan felt. Well, maybe not every single one, but probably like 99.99% of Ravens fans all felt this same exact way. Uh, once we got the schedule, even once we found out, oh, the Ravens playing the Chiefs for the for week one? Oh, the, and literally the first game of the entire season. Not just week one, but the first game that literally everybody will be watching. The Chiefs going to be getting their Super Bowl banner hung up. Uh, they already got their rings, but this is going to be at Arrowhead. Oh, it's going to be on Thursday night football. It's going to be a game, and you going against the best from jump. And I know us Ravens fans, we're going to be hyped for the game. Chiefs fans, I'm sure they're going to be hyped too. But it's going to be a game that is important but at the same time it doesn't have the importance that the last time we played the Chiefs it, it did because that was an AFC championship that was a game to get to the Super Bowl and what did the Baltimore Ravens do at the crib number one seed number one team in the league number one defense number one rushing offense I don't think they had a number one overall offense I think that might have went to the Dolphins but either way the Ravens were the best team in the NFL. They literally had everything right in front of them. It was for their taking, and they squandered it away at home in front of all those people, in front of all those legends, in front of the, the big, gigantic party that it was in Baltimore. They ruined it, and they lost. So with Lamar Jackson saying that, like, hey, it, just beating them in the regular season, it really doesn't do anything. I mean, it could have implications on playoff seeding, and it could be tiebreakers and stuff like that. So it does do something, but what he's talking about, it doesn't mean it much in the end because what matters is the playoffs. It's the playoffs. And that has been the sentiments of a lot of Ravens fans. So many Ravens fans, I've seen it. I've, I've seen it, especially once this new uh, season, this new league year started. So many Ravens fans in the comments have been saying the same thing. So many Ravens fans on social media all say the exact same thing. I don't care about regular season. I don't care about regular season. I don't care about it. All I care about is playoffs. Nothing matters until playoffs. If Baltimore Ravens say, yeah, we know they're going to do that thing in the regular season, but all I care about, all I want to see is them actually do something in the playoffs. And it's true. It's true. Regular season, we know they got that, especially if they're healthy. If Lamar's there, they got it. Regular season, it ain't no worries. It ain't no issues. Yeah, they're going to have that game because they usually have about – Two or three games that they lose every year due to coaching, due to being silly, doing due to all kinds of stuff. So they got those games. They're going to have those games. I mean, if they want to go undefeated, no problem. But they're going to have the games that they lose. And then straight up, it ain't even got to be even due to coaching. It could be due to the other team just being better. Due to the other team just being a better team than the Baltimore Ravens on that day. So it could be a lot of reasons that they lose. But we know that they're going to lose a couple games a year. All right, cool. But if they make it to the playoffs... That's what every single Baltimore Ravens fan is waiting on. How you going to act? What you going to do? Because last year in the playoffs, it's like they tricked us. They, re they really, really tricked us. Because if you recall, um, and again, number one seed. Number one seed, home field advantage through the entire playoffs. The playoffs went through Baltimore. So we figured, oh, yeah, playoffs going through Baltimore. Oh, yeah, we had the crib. Oh, man. Number one seed, we've been seeing how these boys been playing. Oh, yeah. But anyway, the, the, the first game of the playoffs, well, their first game, because they didn't play wild card because they was off that week. But divisional matchup against the Texans. Um, I think they went in halftime like 10-10. And like Ravens, hey, what's going on? They, are y'all having a little little hangover or something? Y'all coming out slow? What's happening? So that they went in 10-10. And then after second half, they started running the ball like crazy. That run set up, that play action, they just started going off. They started taking off on them Texans. And it was like, oh, yeah, there they go. Oh, okay, so these Ravens, oh, so they really showed up in the playoffs, huh? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we, we got it. So then after that game, we, we waited and we watched. He's like, okay, we, we getting the Bills or the Chiefs. Who's it going to be? I thought it was going to be the Bills. I thought the Bills were going to beat the Chiefs. But the Chiefs said, mm, no, no thanks. We'll, we'll take this. And then once the Chiefs won that game, I was like, all right, hey, let's go. To be the best, you got to beat the best. And the Chiefs, they were the reigning, defending Super Bowl champions. So they come to the crib to Baltimore. All right, cool. All right, let's, let's get it, baby. And you know the rest. But our thing is, 
uh, is that with the Baltimore Ravens, why so many fans are frustrated? Well, you know, I can't speak for everybody. I mean, because everybody frustrated that they lost. But in my opinion, at least for me, it's how they lost. The how they lost is the biggest issue for me. If they would have lost being themselves, if they would have lost playing their game, if they would have lost doing everything that they did to get in the position to be in the AFC championship game, if they would have lost doing all that stuff that got them there, okay, cool. It would have still sucked. It would have still been sad. It would have still hurt. But at least it's like, all right, you lost being you. You didn't, you didn't lose trying to be somebody else. You didn't lose trying to be another team. You didn't lose not having and playing to your identity. You lost being yourself. You lost being your true self. All right, I can live with that. That's cool. No problem, no problem. But they didn't. They didn't. They lost being somebody else. They weren't themselves. They really weren't. And it's like there's nothing that can, not necessarily that can make up for it, but like when you hear interviews, when you hear pressers and stuff, there's no answer that would be satisfactory uh, to them losing. Like, there's no answer that, like, John Harbaugh at the, at, the, at the podium. Hey, John Harbaugh, why'd you guys lose? Why'd you guys stop running the ball? Why'd you guys do this? Why didn't you guys do that? There's literally nothing that he could say that would be satisfying to hear. Because they lost. And we saw it. Like, he could say X, Y, and Z, but we saw what the Baltimore Ravens did. We saw it. And it obviously wasn't good enough. So, again, back to Lamar Jackson with him, what he was saying at the end of the day, our goal is to make it to the Super Bowl. To make it to the Super Bowl. So that's always the goal, obviously. But he said just us beating them in regular season doesn't really do anything. And it doesn't. It really doesn't. It does literally nothing. So it's important that this year that the Baltimore Ravens, they get it right. They get it right. But that's another thing that a lot of Ravens fans are scared about is that this has been an ongoing issue with them. It's been an ongoing problem with them, especially when they got the number one seed. It's like they go out sad and they go out not being themselves. They, they go out not staying true to themselves. When they have everything coming their way, when they have the advantage, when they, they got home field, whatever, they say, oh, no, we straight. Maybe they get a little too comfortable. I, I don't know. I don't know. But it just takes us back to 2019. They literally ran away. Best record in the, in the NFL. Best team in the NFL. Ran away with it. Derrick Henry and them Titans came into town. Crushed them. Crushed them. Took their hearts out. There was a lot of stuff that happened in that game. There were drops. There were bad calls. As far as like bad play calls, there was just, they didn't run the ball. They, mm, sound familiar? <laughs> yeah, it does. It should. Same scenario last year. Number one seed. So, but yeah. Anyway, so we'll see. Um, how this goes but as far as what Lamar Jackson said uh, I think he is speaking for every single Ravens fan that there is